What is the kingdom of God in five minutes or less? The bottom line, the kingdom of God is the gospel, which means good news, really good news. Why? Because the kingdom of God is what Jesus Christ was and still is all about. 2,000 years ago, his purpose was to spread the good news of the kingdom and to enable anyone who wanted to follow him to enter it. But let's step back for just a moment and talk about the meaning of the word kingdom. What is a kingdom really? Well, the simplest definition is, it's a community of people who live in the same general area, who are governed by a single absolute ruler from a royal family. There have been many kingdoms throughout the history of this world, and the problem with them has always been that the quality of life for the people in the kingdom depends solely on the one ruler and whether that ruler cares about the people. And even if there's an absolutely loving, wonderful king or queen, it's only a matter of time before that king or queen dies and one of their descendants takes over. And things can go downhill pretty fast after that. It's not a stable form of government at all. But in the kingdom of God, God is the king. He loves his people and God never dies. And so that makes it a very, very stable form of government, which is good to know because the kingdom of God is God's solution to mankind's failure to govern ourselves. According to Bible chronology, We've had 6,000 years since the Garden of Eden to, by our own power and wisdom, recreate that original Garden of Eden state where there's no hunger, there's no homelessness, no loneliness, no unemployment, where no one has to be worried or fearful of violence against themselves. Has that ever happened for every single person in the world in the last 6,000 years? I don't think so. And according to the news, it's just getting worse by the minute. But thankfully, the Bible is full of descriptions of the kingdom of God and describes how it replaces the kingdoms of men or human governments. One of those verses is in Daniel chapter 2, where at verse 44 it says, The God of heaven will set up a kingdom which will never be destroyed. And that kingdom will not be left to another people. It will crush and put an end to all these kingdoms, talking about the kingdoms of men or human governments, but it will itself endure forever. And what is the mission of the kingdom of God? Well, it's not only worldwide justice and peace, but as proven by Jesus, it will even overcome death itself. Wow, that's good news. That's really good news. Because this world desperately needs that abundant, eternal life that the kingdom of God makes possible. Would you like that kind of abundant, eternal life for yourself and your loved ones? I know I do. And that's why I want to tell everyone about it. I encourage you to learn about the kingdom of God. Do what Jesus said when he said, seek first the kingdom of God. You can do that by reading through the Bible especially looking at Matthew, Mark, and Luke, where a lot of kingdom information is concentrated, as well as watching the other videos in this series. May God bless you and your family as you seek first the kingdom of God. Bye now.